The Great American Massacre uh, is very dear to my mother's and my heart's. Um, it's obviously written from a place of great affection for the theater, which is, you know, both of our backgrounds are in the theater. And uh, it's really a, a Valentine and uh, a little bit of a, a tongue-in-cheek, um, affectionate look at what it is to be uh, in the theater. What we wanted to do was we wanted to give young readers a sense of all the wonders that theater provides and also all that goes into creating theater um, in a way that felt accessible to them and interesting to them. And so uh, we came up with a notion of using mice, uh, a troop of theater mice who live and perform in a great venerable Broadway theater as the way to uh, tell the story. And of course within this troop of theater mice are all the classic characters of any theater, whether human or, or mouse, um, such as the director and the difficult leading lady and the young intern and the, uh, you know, the weary producer and, uh, you know, the slightly hysterical hairdresser and so forth. And of course, some of them are terrible stereotypes, and uh, with, but do done with great affection and love. And, um, and the idea for the book came about because uh, my mother was performing um, on Broadway at the time, and uh, there was a mouse in her dressing room. And she said to uh, her, I think it was her, her uh, dresser, oh, could you make sure that um, if someone puts down traps or takes the mouse away, that they're the humane kind? And, and could you see that they go, you know, take it out to Brooklyn and release it there? Or some, why Brooklyn, I don't know. But somehow the idea was, let's put it somewhere where it will be happier and free. and. Uh, and not kill it and not be, you know, cruel. And I think everybody sort of snickered and, and heaven knows what happened to the mouse, but, you know, everybody was amused by the fact that my mom wanted it to be such a humane experience. So, of course, what is the truth of theaters is that all theaters are riddled with mice and, uh, you know, mice are just a part of the theater. And, and once we realized that and once my mom said, of course, you know, I imagine there's not just one mouse here, there's probably hundreds, perhaps even thousands of mice under here a light bulb went off and she suddenly thought, wonder if they're putting on their own shows downstairs for their own audience, you know? And, uh, and from there the idea was born. And the more we talked about it, the more excited we became by the idea because we thought, boy, we could, you know, how, um, what a wonderful way to bring the magic and the wonder of theater down to a kind of a manageable scale for a young reader. And uh, we could have lots of fun and be very irreverent without being too obvious or on the nose. And um, we had just such a good time writing it, and of course modeling all of these mouse characters after people we know and love and have worked with in the past, and bringing all of our theater experiences and stories and backgrounds to bear in creating this particular story, while at the same time hopefully giving kids um, the not so subtle message that theater matters and is still very important and valuable and, and to be seen and appreciated and savored and enjoyed. Um, that's really the underlying agenda what for us was to be able to help kids discover uh, or you know really understand the wonders of theater. So then we included things like um, a glossary of theatrical terms to help them understand better you know some of the expressions and uh, some theater etiquette and a few little bits and pieces to to take it even beyond just the story itself. It's very tongue in cheek. There's the uh, the whole idea is that the theater is uh, is being threatened with demolition and is actually going to be taken over by a television station, and uh, so there's a you know not so subtle message there. Um, and the mice, of course, save the day, and the theater is saved. I won't I won't give away how, but uh, the theater is saved from the wrecking ball thanks to the mice, which of course for us was very important in, in terms of conveying the message that no matter how small one is, one can always make a contribution. And uh, you never know what you can actually achieve, even in spite of your size or your age.